Hi guys, I'm Marty Kaur and this is Basket Island. So kind of a continuation of the Legacy Challenge, but as a new series when I'm going to be playing rotationally with all the families that remained after the Legacy Challenge, even though I was, of course, supposed to only play with one family. There are now seven families, and only one of them is not at all related to anyone on the island. Other than that, everyone is either closer or further related somehow, so it's kind of like a whole big family. But I can still pair up some sims with, with each other because um, the relation may be far away enough. So to start off, we are playing with the Fiura family. These are the descendants of Alvin, um, so they are kind of related to Shella, generation 9 that we had in the Genesee legacy. Shella's father left their family and adopted a son, and that son had a son, and this lady that you he see here is the daughter of that son. <laughs> so she is Alvin's great-granddaughter. So in relation to Alvin, she is kind of the same as Naven, generation 11 at the Genesis. So they are second cousins, I think, because they share a great-grandpa. And this lady is named Sadie. So I will be explaining a lot in these gameplays, at least at the beginning. Um, so this is the original Backman house. If you uh, watched at least most of the series, you've seen this house before. I mean, it's a house from the bin, so you definitely saw it before. But um, yeah, the Backman family lived here. They are already woohooing. Okay. Yeah, these are the Backmans. And uh, wait, wait, where is... Oh, yeah. Niles was the last one to live in this house. He... Well, he has a child, but he didn't live with that child. So he was completely alone in this house. So I figured that I could move some of his further family here, kind of like a inheritance of some kind, you know. Uh, so Jed and his family lives here, and Jed's parents stayed in their original house, the one that Alvin moved to. <laughs> it's really complicated. Okay, so Jed is absolutely amazing. I adore his face. He is <laughs> Oh my god, he's also making a face. That's just perfect. Yes! So he married Cassidy Motive, who is an arts and crafts in instructor, and I think she is supposed to have different hair. Like, when I looked her up on Sims Wiki, she had longer hair, but um, as the instructor, she has this bob, pixie kind of hair. Um, and uh, I, I think I just changed it for her so that she has it forever, you know? Um because that's what she mostly showed, so I figured that's her hair. So Sadie is 15, she's going to school in like half an hour, and she is a pleasure sim, um, but she has a, a little bit of an ambition uh, in her for a pleasure sim, because her lifetime want isn't really a want that would normally appear for a pleasure sim, she wants to be a doctor. She resembles her grandma a lot, uh, remember Felicia? She is a retired scientist now, but she was like really geeky, so I just thought that Sadie kind of, um, you know, I used my calculator to calculate the career for her. Uh, she's really interested in health, so it just happened that uh, she was um, very suitable for the medical career. So I thought that was really cool, um, that, you know, she's a pleasure sim, but she also kind of wants to help people, and, like, this could be a part of the pleasure, you know? Um, and yeah, and I also immediately thought of Felicia, that she was really similar, and uh, I thought that was really cool. Jed is uh, a scat master, very good job. <laughs> Um, and, uh, yeah, so he's a natural scientist, and Cassidy is in entertainment. They are not very high in their careers, and I think that's actually good, because, uh, you know, 
Making too much money always make it less fun for me in this game. They have two um, pets that are named the same. They are both named Allegra. I love this game. Um, one of them ran away and the cat is the cat that you get um, in the shelter. I think she is a kitten at the beginning, but her original name is Allegra, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And the other Allegra was um, purchased by them on a community lot. So when I entered the family, I got a pop-up. Do you want this pet? And the way that it works is that it just randomizes a pet for you and you don't even know if it's going to be a cat or a dog it just randomizes a pet uh, so of course the pet gets a random name and the name uh, just happened to be Allegra because the game uh, loves the beginning of the list of names so usually the pets are named with an A, B, or C. That just happened. Okay, you have two pets named Allegra. One of them is um, is away anyway, so whatever. <laughs> I think someone called to report um, her running away, so she might get back, but she's really old, so I think she will just get back to die, I guess. Okay, so it's been a while since I played rotationally on this channel, so um, if you're not sure what the rules are, uh, you can always... Um, I will leave a link to a video about that in the description. I have a whole video explaining the rules uh, and how I play in general. Uh, so yeah, like basically, the, the basic thing that you have to know is that it's going to be four days per round. Like, a round is four days. Okay, they go to work at the same time, in like 15 minutes. Yay! <laughs> um, okay, okay, she made it. She sat on him. She, he actually disappeared, but that's fine. Hi, Isaiah! <laughs> they just moved out and he's already missing them. This is Jed's father and Alvin's son. No! You were supposed to improve your relationship with Danielle so that you can play Red Hands. Is, is she going to agree to this? Nah. Okay, Kiki Bag will do, I guess. Also, another thing that is pretty important, and I, I think I didn't even cover that in the rotational play, because uh, that is something that has changed. Uh, you have a chewing toy. Stop doing that. Is that I don't play entirely once based, but I do pay attention to once a lot. Uh, especially in certain aspects, like um, if a teenager doesn't have a want to do homework, or a kid as well, um, they just don't. Or I flip a coin, actually I flip a guitar pick because that's the only thing I have uh, next to me, but uh, yeah, I just flip it and it's like 50-50 if they're going to um, do homework. Uh, I guess I could do that. My guitar pick has... A uh, turtle on one side and nothing on the other side, so if it's nothing, and it is actually nothing, then um, <laughs> they are not doing homework this, um, this afternoon, so yeah. Uh, but if they, like, roll a one to do homework in the morning, which is usually the case for kids, like, oh no, I forgot to do homework, I need to do homework, I want to do homework, you know, um, then uh, I, I will just lock it in for them so that they can do the next homework that they get. Okay, Cassidy got promoted to mime. That's fine. And I also really pay attention to wants when it comes to career progression, because I don't want everyone to succeed in their career. Not everyone has to fulfill their, their, their lifetime want. It's not a legacy challenge anymore. Uh, so yeah, so if they don't want to get certain things that are needed for a promotion, like skills, uh, they just won't. And... Uh, okay, <laughs> and since friends in my game don't count at work, it still shows the number, but it doesn't count because I have a mod for that, then uh, if they don't want to make friends, that's not really relevant. Oh, she hasn't been helped with homework yet? Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> she she was barely even a child in, in her lifetime. Like, uh, her child stage lasted probably, like, two human minutes, so... <laughs> Aw, hey, honey. <laughs> That's so sweet. So I guess you could help her. Uh, it will be easier for her later. So there is an attic situation here where there are some hobby 
objects, uh, some baby objects and chess and stuff like that. So someone can just go up to the attic and work on something or work out or whatever. Oh, they became friends. That's nice. Oh, now she wants to play Red Hands. About time. Okay, we can catch up. No, Sadie. How grouchy are... Oh, okay, she's very grouchy. Her secondary aspiration will probably be fortune, which is also pretty good for medicine, I guess. I mean, you shouldn't be in medicine for the money, but um, it pays. <laughs> the face. Oh yeah, Jed is just playing chess in solitude in the attic. There will be a weekend in every family at the second half of the round because we started on Thursday and every family is actually aligned for now. Um, it's Thursday 7 a.m. in every family. Uh, I did it based on the Genesee household and uh, the... Seasons are somewhat aligned as well. It's fall in every household, but it's not the same day of fall. And um, normally I don't really pay attention to that. So if I move someone, I will not be changing it. Okay, Cassidy wants a skill point. So I guess I could give her that charisma point that she needs for work. So knowledge and fortune sims are definitely the... The likeliest, is that a word, uh, to progress in their careers, which makes a lot of sense to me. Okay. Okay, yesterday um, Jed wanted to help her with homework, so uh, she actually did homework. And today I again got the empty one, so she is not doing homework. Especially pleasure teenagers, uh, they pretty much never have a want of doing homework, because why would they? <laughs> So they can end up with really horrible grades sometimes. Okay, buy a toy. And play chess. Uh, she is apparently into games. Or not. Okay. Influence someone to garden. <laughs> yeah, they have two orchard trees, actually. Because Jed is really into nature. He could actually take care of them, maybe, when he comes back. Buy new clothes. Sure. The grass shopper is the closest we can get to a mall here. Hey, Danielle. Perform stand-up comedy. Cool. Hey, Holden. Hey, Shelby. Buy yourself new swimwear. It's an island after all. Okay. And maybe try to talk to some teenagers. Oh, hey, Chloe. I am a fan of Chloe's. I can't wait for the family. <laughs> Oh, Grandma's calling Sadie, but she's outside. No, she's not home, sorry. Logic level 5 and a skill point. For just the skill point, I think you should get some body. Um, can you... Wait, for yoga you need 3 points, right? Yeah, I think so. So, uh, jump rope? Or, or no! No! The treadmill! <laughs> Obvi. Um, okay, that was fast. Don't quit so fast. Cassidy's secondary aspiration is family, uh, and Jed's is fortune, just so you know. I think I need to... Um... Yeah, I know. I would like to randomize your gender preference. Oh! Okay, I, I mean, that was kind of my idea, but if it just got randomized, that's even better. <laughs> okay, she's gay. Cool. Maybe you could try something with Danielle. We'll see. You have the whole weekend. Yeah, I think Allegra is returning today at 11 just to pass away. Oh, yeah. Not even at 11. She didn't even return, she just died. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye, Allegra. Allegra 1.0. Uh, what? Um... Yes? <laughs> Is he going to bring her so that we can have a proper funeral or something? Actually, her grave is right here. Um, hi? Bye? <laughs> yeah, I um, I suspected that would be exactly what would happen. Aw, 
So cute. Okay, how about asking the nail out? Let's just try. Uh, community lot? Um, how old is she? Like 17 by now, I guess, car? And let's go to... Beach bar is actually an empty lot for now. Let's go to the park. Okay, let's have a date. I don't even know what the chemistry they have, but, you know, let's just try it out. Oh, okay, she's like, whatever. Stop it. I just leave you for three seconds and, and you're always doing that. You want to make out with her already? Wow. I think they might not have uh, chemistry because Danielle doesn't have the proper preferences, but she did react to her indifferently so she just shrugged so i guess on her side she's she also doesn't find danielle that attractive but she wants to flirt with her you can always do that except that she's grouchy and complaining about it still no chemistry okay i think i might roll gender preferences of all the townies um yeah only townies and npcs please High preference, I guess. So that if there's another girl that is gay, I can immediately see it from chemistry. I think we can wrap it up. There's no chemistry, so let's just look for someone else. But it's good to try. Was that your first kiss? Oh yeah, that counted as your first kiss. Okay. Hey, Helen. <laughs> Brittany is hot. I kind of like that. Does she think you're hot? She is wearing a ballet thing, but that's fine. Maybe that's what makes her hot. Oh, I see double chemistry. Okay. Just talk to her a little more. And you can go home. Hey, Naven. Naven is just having a hot dog. Enjoy. Uh, Sadie? Did you suddenly lose your license or something? Oh, okay. That was weird. Obviously now Jed wants um, more body, but now he can do yoga, so that's less stinky. He's also super happy to exercise because he's max active. Oh, I was just <laughs> I was just thinking what skill point I can give her. And she just did that on, on her own, just because she is very neat. Oh, okay. <laughs> Another one. Um, yes, she's not asleep yet. This time you can talk to your granddaughter. They actually quite like each other. That makes sense. That's probably the highest relationship someone had with their grandma in my entire life playing The Sims 2. <laughs> no, not really, but close. Okay, for like two days, uh, Cassidy had the want to harvest good produce, and that would be the chance, but she doesn't have that want anymore. That's fine. Okay, if it's Sunday and the last day of the round here and Sadie wants to go on a date, I think she could ask Brittany to come over for a date. I'm sick of going to community lots. Oh yeah, the toilet thing. I thought I had a mod for that. <laughs> that doesn't really make sense with uh, modern plumbing. That doesn't. I don't know. I've never lived in a house, so I have no idea. Oh yeah, obviously, because she's a romance sim and Sadie is a pleasure sim. I have a chemistry aspiration overhaul, but still things are quite similar <laughs> to the original game. So um, most of the time you can still guess it, I guess. Guess it, I guess. I'm sorry, Brittany, but I just have to use Gussie up on you. It's I enough of this ballet thing, please. This is not something that you're supposed to be wearing every day. It can be your gym outfit, that's fine, but not every day, please. If you like pink, I can give you something pink, that's not a problem. Yeah, that's better. Of course the noogie. Wait, what? That fulfilled a want? What want was that? Play? Is this considered playing? I mean, it's under irritate, but maybe it's considered playing. Oh my god, okay. Let's just do something normal, please. Tickle, dance, entertain. Sadie is just awkward, okay? Which is funny because in the show Awkward, there was a character named Sadie. Huh. She was so horrible that I always thought that her name was because she was a sadist. Don't look at me like that. 
Dance, dance. Uh, well, there's a stereo uh, running in the living room. Um, no, that's too much, I think, Sadie. Yeah, she is um, not very good at socializing. She isn't outgoing, really, and she's really grouchy. And now, of course, she wants to buy a love potion. Okay, it is going somewhere, though. <laughs> we're, we're good. It's so silly that sims that you're on a date with... I mean, sometimes when you're on a date, you can actually control the other sim because they are in the same household, like a marriage or something. But a lot of the times you can't control the other sim and they get once, like, tickle the other sim. And sometimes I make them selectable and direct them to do that because they, like, what are the odds that they will autonomously do it? Pretty much nothing. So let's do it. <laughs> and when she wants to flirt, actually, when Sadie flirts with her, <laughs> of course, complaining about it in the most funny way, um, that will also fulfill the want. So at least that's nice, I guess. And she wants to tickle her again. So I think we're in a loop here and... Um, Maybe, well, we could go out and, like, eat. No, we, we couldn't go out and eat because there is no way of doing that on Basket Island. Um, there will be, though. I, I am going to build something because we need a restaurant here. So I think that's gonna be it for this date. For now. It was a good date. Now she can just go and play chess so that she doesn't have to talk to anyone for a while. <laughs> Again? <laughs> Yeah, she just wants to learn a lot of skills. There's only 75% chance for a promotion because I modded that. So she's been really lucky, really. Okay, that's gonna be it for this first episode of Basket Island. Just a nice family of three trying to figure out life, especially the teenage daughter. There are also Jed's parents, who are two elders and two cats, I think. Uh, I mean, the cats are not his parents, but you know what I mean. It's a household of two elders and two cats, and that's it. Um, and there is a chance that they won't last until the end of the round, even. Um, so... I think I will play with them in the next episode, but uh, I might need to mix that with another family as well, because it might be fast. So as always, thank you for watching, watching, subscribing, and subscribe, like the video, and see you in the next one. Bye! With all my pals who live in the oceans and the seas, with friends like these, well, who needs enemies? Da da da, da da da, da da da, da da da.